Sony's new flagship cinema camera, the 6K Venice, is on the streets. And I'd like to give you a little orientation to it in form of three videos. The first one is going to be just sort of a general overview of its features. The second video is going to be going a little bit deeper into some of the really cool things that you're going to enjoy working with. And the third video is going to be all about the workflow. So let's have a look. The first thing to know is this camera was built from the ground up. It's built from scratch. This is not a version 2 of another camera. It's not a more refined F55 or F65. This is brand new all the way around. Its sensor, the 6K sensor, is brand spanking new. Sony has never had anything like this before. Interestingly, by the way, the sensor is removable with four screws. So in the future, as sensors continue to evolve, you can get a newer, fancier one and put it in here yourself without having to buy a whole new camera. The images the Venice makes are very filmic. You know, there's been this stereotype that Sony cameras have this sort of a digital look. Well, if that stereotype is real, this camera breaks that mold. The people who've used it said it looks very painterly. It looks very, very much like film, which is a pretty cool thing. It has an excess of 15 stops dynamic range. The color space exceeds Rec 2020, which is used in HDR. So, uh, you know, it has some pretty amazing capabilities. These are some scenes from a short film shot with the Venice. The DP was the Academy Award winning Claudio Miranda, who you may be familiar with. The ISOs in the Venice run from 125 up to 10,000, but Sony has designed the sensor in a way so that it can be optimized to have two different native ISOs, dual ISOs. One is 500 and one is 2500. So if you're doing a lot of daylight or bright exteriors or interiors, you can set it for 500. If you're doing a lot of nighttime work or low light work, you can set it for 2500. And either way you go, the images are going to look the same. Just one works a lot better in low light and the other works a whole lot better in highlights. Another interesting and unique feature of the Venice is the eight stops of internal NDs, which are servo controlled. That's right, eight stops. No other camera has that. So no matter what sort of ISO you're operating at, you have a way to control your exposure as well as your depth of field. No need to add a matte box and external indies. The camera has two ways to record. In fact, you can even record simultaneously. One is S by S cards internally, which will record a variety of different codecs, including XAVC. And then secondly is the R7 RAW recorder, if you get that, and you can record RAW and the new XOCN compressed RAW format, and that records on cards up to one terabyte. We're going to talk more about XOCN in the workflow video, but it stands for Extended Original Camera Negative. So it's kind of like shooting negative film, and it is a compressed version of RAW, but it is visually identical to full 16-bit linear RAW. One of the best things Sony has done is the menu structure. They have made it much more simple than any other Sony menu that I've ever seen. And there are two menus on here. One is on the user side. It's very simple, has the basic things you need. And the other side has the other menu, which is the much more detailed one, which the AC would be working with, or if you're working by yourself, this is where you would find all the kind of fine tuning stuff. So they made it very quick and easy. The camera comes with a built-in lever lock E-mount with a PL mounted on top of it. So you can use PL lenses, or you can take that off and use E-mount lenses. The Venice will work with just about every existing lens out there. It is a full frame sensor, it's 36 millimeter, so you can shoot true anamorphic, so you can use anamorphic lenses, Super 35, spherical, E-mount, pretty much you name it. There's much more to talk about, a lot of detail we can go into, and I'm going to do that on our next video, Going Deeper, so stay tuned.